What's up? So I needed to figure out a way to do backups because one of the downfalls of this rolling release distribution is if something breaks and my files are unrecoverable, I'm screwed. So since I'm trying to make this laptop my number one daily driver, everything's on here, uh, this is how I live digitally um, system, I needed a way to effectively back up all of my material without fear of running you know, updates or downloading new software. If something implodes, I have a backup option. So I did a little bit of research. Uh, I looked at some of Chris Titus's videos about, uh, I think it was like time shift and some like snapshot type things. Um, I don't really have a large hard drive or any backup hard drives in this laptop. I got like a 500 gigabyte SSD and I wanna get an ultra base and maybe another terabyte or two or whatever it can handle in that for extra storage for like videos or whatever. But uh, for purposes and how I already partitioned my drives, I'm not sure if you can do it after the fact, but I didn't want to use time shift. I just want to do something to put all of my stuff onto an external hard drive and I can just run backups frequently or right before I run uh, Pac-Man for updating uh, my packages or downloading new software. So what I already had, I've already had a backup drive for my Windows laptop that's sitting right there that you can't see. And this drive right here is two terabytes. I forgot how much, how large this freaking thing is. I thought it was like, you know, 500 gigabytes, a terabyte, whatever, but no, it's two terabytes. So um, it's four times the size of this computer's hard drive. So I'm good, room to expand. So what I used was rsync, what you see on the screen here. Um, I got the man page open, but uh, from what you can see, it's a lot of documentation here. A lot of options too. But pretty much what I needed from it, this is just my notes um, on it. So you pretty much just say rsync, what options, and then from what directory to what. So pretty much the from directory was my home directory and all of the files, all my dot files, all my all my actual storage of files, directories, like desk, like uh, documents, pictures, whatever, um, from the home directory to, and then I just mount the external hard drive onto my mount point. So these are the tags I actually use with it. Lowercase a, capital A, capital X, V, Z. Um, this way, it, I don't really know too much what these two do, cap, the capital ones, but, um, a is archive, and then V just gives you a verbose listing of everything it's doing so you can see it working. Um, and then Z compresses all the stuff in transit. And I also add some of these extended flags. So this delete one will actually take from my home directory to the destination point, the external drive. Um, if something is deleted from the home directory and on the to directory, the uh, hard drive, if it's there, and uh, it's not in the home directory, it will delete it from the, uh, the external hard drive. So pretty much, <clears throat> if I delete something and my normal daily life on this laptop, I don't want it kept over here because it's, there's nothing from here to overwrite this copy and to quote unquote back it up. It doesn't exist in the actual computer anymore, only in the storage. So I want to take it from storage, I deleted it, and now it's the snapshot is that it doesn't exist anymore, so it needs to be deleted over here. That's what this option does. It deletes everything from the hard drive that was deleted from the initial um, from point. Uh, it works basically like diff or like diff in Git if you do version control. Um, exclude, uh, I took some examples of um, Chris Titus's exclusions of what he does for his drives. I pretty much only ex excluded the cache, the dot cache uh, directory because I don't really need any of that stuff. Um, and I heard it was good advice to just do that. So, you know, I have my from, I have my to, and then I have a footnote here. Um, yeah, I actually have to mount the thing before I can use it. So, yeah. Now, on that note, uh, diff, that's what I was gonna say. So for diff, I just discovered this too, like the, the differences between two files. So if I actually, um, actually, I want to bring that one back up. Um, 
So let's make a copy of our sync, our sync MD. Okay, here we go. Uh, copy our sync MD to our sync two MD, and let's open up that one. Our sync two MD. I can't type today. Okay, so this is the file I just created. Um, now I'm going to come in here and I'm going to uh, delete these two lines. I'm going to come in here, make some spaces. I'm going to go right here, insert, and type in some text there. All right, and save and close. So what I really, what I discovered recently was the beautiful, magical command of diff with the Y flag. So if I do diff with the Y option on our sync and our sync to the awesomeness of this command close that is that it actually acts sort of like how git does i'm not sure if git just does this but like you can actually use this to show side by side with the y option diff just does it all in like a single column but y will actually make it do two separate columns and it will show the differences between the two files side by side and I think this is really freaking cool. So that's diff. And this is basically how it works for our sync is that um, something that was deleted over here will be deleted from here. I mean, I guess it's sort of similar, sort of not. But anyways, so I'm gonna do a backup live. Um, I already did my main backup, so it's not too uh, crazy. Now, what was I gonna say? With my backing up um, the actual command with all the exclusions and all that stuff is uh, too long to really type and you know what, what do they say about people who live in terminals is that if it takes more than two seconds you try to automate it with a shell script so that's what I did um, uh, local binaries tools and so this is the stupid little simple script I'm sure there is a lot of other better ways to do this and other things to set up, but just for the purposes of getting it done as I continue to learn more about shell, bash commands, all this stuff, um, I just wrote that. This is pretty much just the basic command, the command I normally run in the terminal, and there you go, that's it. So I'm going to actually run my backup. I have my drive inserted, so now I need to mount it. Um, come on, there you go. Okay, mount it to mount. All right, my drive is now mounted. <clears throat> well, after I enter my password. All right, so my drive is mounted. Time to run the backup. I run my shell script. Give my password. And you see it's deleting a lot of stuff because I actually moved all of my files from my main Windows computer over to this laptop. So all my documents, my photos, uh, some videos, and uh, all my music. Um, so currently this is deleting a bunch of crap because I am either removed a bunch of files I didn't need or it's moving them to the directories I actually moved them to. I made a bunch of new directories and that's one of the things about having this laptop and this system. I actually noticed that as soon as I started moving over to here and doing everything in the terminal, I suddenly cared a lot more about, um, yeah, doing a lot of this file management and um, I care about how the directories are structured now I care about how they're named I care if the the names have spaces if they're uppercase lowercase if the files have spaces how the files are organized um, I went through everything with a fine-tooth comb and fixed everything and put everything the way I want it from pictures to videos to documents and now my music I'm actually going through and editing all the metadata because I want it to work well with um, MPV, I, th I think this is MPV, but I'm going through this and I'm fixing all this stuff and organize everything because currently nothing has the right information because I hated how I had to use iTunes for my iPhone because Apple. Um, so I always kept my music externally and drag and dropped it onto iTunes so it didn't do its typical iTunes thing where it just goes nom 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 and eats it and now you can't get any of your files back and you're pretty much screwed into using their ecosystem. So I'm going through all my songs and doing the metadata there. Um, yeah, it's been a, a long 24 hours of editing all my 
files. I was up to like one, I think, the other day, 12.30. Yeah, so the backup's still going. Um, I thought it was gonna be hung up because it's trying to move over this screencast, I think. I'm not sure if it just says, uh, oh, this thing is still going, screw it, and just shove onwards. But it's still going. Um, yes. One of the cool things I like doing is now that I have all this stuff set up, Vim, Markdown Documents, Terminal, Windows, uh, I started actually writing all my notes in here now, especially in Markdown Documents. I already did my um, documents or my notes in Markdown anyways. Usually it was R Markdown, but uh, I still haven't gotten R Markdown set up on here. My next video is gonna be about the issues I had with um, normal Markdown Documents and compiling them to PDFs to use in Zathura and the issues I had trying to get um, Pandoc working in our, our Markdown I'm still working on, but um, I'll talk about that in the next video. But I'm taking notes, I'm writing them in Markdown, and what I just did recently, um, I was going through, now oh, the cat's getting in the bag. Um, it's going through Meditations by uh, Marcus Aurelius, and I'm just writing down notes as I come through the different sections and writing my thoughts about them. Yeah, and then I also have it compiled to PDF too. One second, I gotta grab this cat. Dude literally had his face stuck in a container of KFC popcorn chicken because this guy's a nutcase. So the backup's still going. It's got to go through all my music. Um, it actually is really fast compared to my Windows, backing up my Windows system. I mean, come on, because Windows alone is like, what? Something outrageous, like 20, 30 gigabytes or whatever the operating system is? I actually got to look that up because I'm curious at how large it is. This Arch system is like... What was the ISO, like 600 megabytes? Crazy small. Um, but yeah, just still going, still going. So um, I'm also gonna talk about in one of the next videos my issues with getting my markdown documents to compile to PDF. But I did get it working. I'm gonna talk about how what I did in the next video. But as for what it looks like now, um, I can take my Markdown files, so like I have my meditations notes for Marcus Aurelius. Um, if I just open this up in Vim, right there, this is Markdown. I have some HTML tags in there, but that's just because it's Markdown and it works. So I have my notes here, and I shouldn't have closed that. Um, so I have my Markdown document, I have the PDF I compile to, but I mean, if I compile this Markdown document right now to PDF, it'll just overwrite that and it works great. So let's do that. So I'm going to compile, with which is already a script that Luke left in here. Um, I'm gonna compile meditations, the markdown document, I hit enter, and it will compile it to a PDF. And the PDF will be in the same directory as this thing named the exact same name, but just the ex file extension is PDF. So then I can go Zathura and meditations.pdf, and it opens up the actual PDF. I'll move that to the screen. Oop. There we go. So then, it has all the documentation compiled into a PDF, which is awesome. So there we go. That's all it took. And yes, now we wait for this. My lord, these cats love KFC. <gasps> Mm -mm -mm. I'm just going to stop the video and splice in the next screen when the backup's done. So we actually had to go and run a couple errands too, but the backup finished. Um, it took so long because I actually forgot to run it before I um, shot the video, and I had made all my file changes and modifications, moves and copies and everything last night. Um, so I had to go through that first. So I'll show you what it actually looks like when there's no real changes to be made or minimal ones. Uh, I'm not sure how it's going to react to the screencast, but we'll see. But one of the great things about rsync is that 
it only touches and mo modifies and moves and copies over things that have actually changed from host to backup. So if I only change two files in my home directory, the file I actually, the directory I actually back up, if I add two files and that's the only change I've made and then I run a backup, it's not copying over my 30 gigs of content or whatever it is to the hard drive all over again. You know, transition from to 30 gigabytes all the way over, copy paste. It's only going to actually move those two files. And so that's the power of rsync is that it knows that unless it's been touched, modified, moved, deleted, etc. I don't need to do anything with it if it's the same across the board, just like diff. If there's no changes on both sides, it doesn't do anything with that. There's no reason to copy everything over and do a massive transfer of documents, files, and memory space um, if the only two things have changed are two files. So it deals with just the things that have actually n been changed and need to be you know, moved and backed up again. Uh, so it only deals with stuff that actually needs to be dealt with. And then with the Z option, it actually compresses them as it's doing the transfer, so it's even faster. So now let's do a quick um, backup of my system with no changes. I'm not sure how it's going to react to the screencast, but let's give it a try. Hmm. That's the other screencast video because I actually had to shoot this in two parts. But, yeah, um, I've been doing rsync right before I do any sort of install um, or any Pac-Man updates. Um, currently, with my system, the way things are going, um, now that I have the backup, I'm starting to transition all of my stuff over to this. So I'm currently working on um, getting all of my music handled with all the metadata. Um, that will be the last of my like actual files, like documents, pictures, music, all of my media stuff. Once that, all that's taken care of, I'll be moving over all of my appointments, um, like from my calendar, my recurring events, people's birthdays, all that kind of crap, to CalCurse. And I'll get all of that in there. And now I don't really like the CalCurse um, to-do task system very much, so I'm looking at another terminal application that's also um, FOSS, free and open source software, uh, called Task Warrior. I'm not sure I'm going to like that, uh, but I want to try that out. That's one of my next things to, to try. Um, this is, oh, I know it's taking so long. Um, I actually renamed the prior screencast file. So it's essentially deleting the other one and copying over a brand new copy, which is just that renamed copy. Again, I should have done this before the video, but I digress. I'm going to stop the clip again because I don't want to make you guys wait and listen to me blather on trying to fill the, the empty space. So I'll come back when it's done. And then I'll run it again. <laughs> Third and final clip because I finally figured out what to do. So as a quick modification, and the reason why this was being so slow was also because of the screencast files as I'm sh literally shooting them. Um, I was trying to back them up at the same time. So what I did is I went to my local binaries to tools and vim on backup and I added um, a list and instead of just cache um, I have it excluding the cache directory but also um, every file that begins with screencast which is the default um, drop like you can see over here I got some screencast files and the one right here it's actually going um, so I just have it excluding all the screencast files and that made it work now. So this is one of those like learn as you go type things, especially when you're trying to shoot a live video. I'm just gonna leave all this in here so you can see how embarrassing it is to try and shoot a video while something breaks or doesn't work right. So anyways, um, got that working. So now if I have no files, initially what I want to show you in my last clip, um, if you have no changes to make or it, maybe it's just a single file and it's not something large like this almost gigabyte large screencast file, if I do backup and start it, that's how quick it is. That's our sync. So that's what I wanted to show you. I got my backups. I'm doing cool stuff. Now that I have the backup going, I can finally do my full system setup. And I'm very pleased with how all this is going. So my next thing is a video on how I fixed my compilation of Markdown documents to PDF. And I will see you there.